This is a public service announcement sponsored by the Schlong Wong Center for Heterosexual Asian Arts, supporting heterosexual Asian art since 1972. Have you been rejected by a group, shunned by people you thought were your friends? Maybe it was in high school when the Friars went to Boston to win the NCAA National Tournament in hockey, and you were the only one not to get invited. And you saw online the, the click with the cool dads and the suburbans and the plaid pants and loafers and the sodas at the game and then Pizzeria Regina afterwards. Or maybe, maybe you're part of a podcast. Maybe you're part of the Kirk Minahan show and you've been rejected as a minifan. Are you feeling alone, afraid, and anxious? My name's Smugsy, and I'm here to help. I see you, and I've been there. Let me explain the history of public shaming and shunning, and I think that will shed some light on what's going on mm -hmm. today. In the past, say in the olden days, if your neighbor coveted your sheep, he would be shunned, he would be publicly shamed, he might be put in stocks. Or if you're just the town pervert like DEC, there was a public shunning. And at that time, the community mm -hmm. that enforced the moral standards were the shamers. They were the good guys. The bad guys were the ones that were publicly shamed. Well, that's not the case anymore. And that's why you may have been confused and feeling insecure. Now, the shamers are like in a gang, and the shamees, like you, okay? Just the hard work in Minifan. You're the good guy. So, you just just flip it around. Once you know the history, you know, the past is the prologue. So, here's what to do. First, remember this. Nobody can cancel you without your consent. You would not have been canceled unless you were someone. Write your own narrative. Take control of your clout and join in the fight on Twitter. Hashtag fuck cancel culture. Thank you.